Dear Titus, I know you've been wondering how I've been spending my day since you've gone. I know this because I've been wondering the same thing about you. Every morning is the same thing. I get up and go immediately into the closet. Ironic, I know. But there's something magical inside there. It's latched onto the scent that your clothes left, even though they don't hang there anymore. Living alone means a lot of different things. I can sing in the shower now. Doesn't mean I should. <clears throat> I can poo with the door open. I used to do that when you were here and you would yell at me. And no one yells at me now. Do I shave the beard? I grew the beard because you didn't like it. You said that you weren't attracted to guys with facial hair. But truth be told, I don't like it very much either. It's itchy and it makes it very difficult to drink milk. I'm going to shave it. No, I'm not. Because if I shave it, that means you win. It's normal to still be in your 20s and eat Pop-Tarts for breakfast, right? I eat them for dinner sometimes, too. <clears throat> I have a bag of ice and two ice trays in my freezer. How do I have an excess of frozen water, yet no one wants to sleep in the same bed as me? No one's done the dishes. No one's made the bed. I think about going outside, but people. You don't know how many books I've started and never finished. I've written a bunch of songs for you. I don't need a sunrise. I don't need a sunset. I don't need New York City. I just need you. I don't need a car ride. I don't need a swing set. I don't need Los Angeles. Doesn't mean I should have. I realize now that I spent a lot of time on the floor. Look at that line you gave me. It reminds me of you the most. Mostly because I think it actually kind of looks like you. I wonder what it would look like in one of your shirts. Yep, definitely looks like you. There's an OK Go song that says, I've been sitting around, wasting my time, wondering what you've been doing, but it ain't real forgiven, it ain't real forgiven. Sitting here picturing someone else living and it's true. But I'm not really looking for forgiveness right now. Maybe later I will be. I just wish someone missed me, though. I'm not necessarily talking about you, but it would be great if I was significant in someone else's life enough to be missed by them. That's just bread. Nothing with it. I guess I could put some ketchup on it. Better. Night comes too quickly, and then stays too long. Sometimes I don't know if there are more miles separating us, or if there are more stars in the sky. I get in bed, but it's hard because I'm hyper aware of the fact that every night I'm going to sleep alone and you're doing the opposite. He's hot though. I'll give you that. Yes, I stalked him. Am I gonna be okay? The next thing you know, I'll be making a 
a black and white short film about how lonely I am and post it online as some kind of passive-aggressive cry for attention in hopes that you'll notice me and ask me if I'm okay. No. There's no way I would be doing something like that. That's too fucking pathetic. Thank you.